Hello, my name is Mike. Um, these, this is the first of my online tutor tutorial videos for learning the basics of guitar. Um, this is the first video, and this is literally the basics and what you have to do to start your path as a guitarist. I'm not going to teach you anything too advanced. All it's going to be is the very simple stuff. The, the, you know, not all the boring ins and outs of what that is on a guitar and what the importance that is. It's just a few simple tips to get you started playing the guitar. And as the um, as the videos go on, uh, we're going to be learning riffs um, and chord progressions, easy songs to start you off on your journey to being an absolute rock god. Um, I will never proclaim myself to be an amazing guitar player. I'm no Slash, I'm no Brian May, but I can pick up a guitar, I can play a tune. If you follow the tips and advice I have to give you, um, that's exactly what you can be as well, and then you can start learning more advanced stuff as you go. Okay, so um, this lesson is the basics of the guitar. I'm going to teach you the very simple stuff, the stuff that you you do need to know. Um, and then as we go on, we'll do a bit more fun and exciting stuff. Okay, so um, the most important thing to know uh, with the guitar is the strings. Um, you have six strings on the guitar. If you're sitting there now with your brand new guitar, your first ever guitar in your hands, um, you will be looking at six strings on your guitar, unless you've gone really fancy and bought yourself a 12 string guitar, of course. Um, right then, so holding the guitar like this, looking down, the first string I can see is the E string. That is the deepest sounding string on the guitar, the deepest bassiest string on the guitar. The next one is an A. The next one is a D. The next one is a G. The second from bottom is a B. And the last, once again, is an E. So you've got two E strings on your guitar. Um, that is the high E string, and that is the low E string. You will notice that the uh, top three strings are a lot thicker than the bottom three strings. This is because the bottom three are treble and the top three are bass. This is where you get all your bassy tunes from, from these right here. And as you look at your strings going down, um, they get thinner as you go. So when you, when you hear um, Slash, for example, doing some killer uh, guitar solo, most of the time it's at the top it's at the top of the guitar here on the treble strings you won't you you rarely see um uh, guitar solos being used on the bass it's always roughly around here on the guitar where it's nice and high like that um okay the second thing that you definitely need to know are what these metal strips are here these metal strips are called frets um, they are guidelines to when you put your fingers when you're playing a chord or doing a guitar solo. Um, other stringed instruments like the uh, violin don't have frets. They purely work off proprioception and thousands of hours of practice and just simply knowing where everything is just through feel. Um, with guitar, you will get to that point where you could just play. You don't need to look at your guitar. You can just sit there, looking around in a daydream, eyes closed, playing tunes on your guitar through practice. Um, so, it's pretty simple. Fret one, fret two, fret three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, eight, four, five, five. You will notice there are dots on them. There's a dot on the third, there's a dot on the fifth, there's a dot on the seventh, on the 9th, there's two dots on the 12th, um, 15th and 17th. These are purely guidelines. And what you will also notice as well, if you take a look at your guitar, is you also have dots along the shaft there as well. 
you have um, on the third again, fifth, seventh, ninth, twelfth. They are purely for guidelines. So when you're standing up, when you're playing guitar, but as as I'm sitting now, I can't see my strings. Um, but these give me these um, dots give me a guideline to where to where I'm supposed to be putting my fingers. Um, so they're purely for guidelines. The next important thing you have to learn is how do you put your finger on the string. There is a right way. There is a wrong way. Um, your finger. That's that there is where you want to be putting the string about three or four mil just underneath your finger now right at the right at the tip of your finger um, because that's the boniest part that's where you don't have to apply as much pressure to get a pure sound if you're laying your finger flat on the string like that what you're going to be doing is you're going to be muting out strings. So if you've got other fingers, if you've got other fingers up the guitar, if that's laying flat there like that, you ain't going to hear that finger there because that one most likely will be touching the string. So your finger has to be pointing into the guitar to get to get on the very point of your fingertip there. Has to be pointing to the guitar to get that pure sound. Another thing as well is when you put your finger on the guitar, on the string, you want it as close to the fret as possible. So if I'm playing the first fret, say, uh, if I'm playing the E string on the first fret, I want my finger as close to that fret as possible to get the purest sound out of it. If it's of that end of the fret, it's not going to sound as good. With acoustic guitar, it's not really noticeable. With electric guitar, it really is. Um, so you want to keep your finger as close to the fret as possible. Now sometimes when you play some chords, it's purely not possible. When I'm playing an E chord there like that, this finger here can't get as close to the fret as possible because this finger's in the way. Um, but as long as it's as close as possible, that's, that's the main thing. Um, where do you apply the pressure from? Basically, from your thumb at the back of the shaft like that. That is where I'm applying my pressure when I'm playing guitar. So, when I'm playing the guitar, it's not really touching the palm of my hand. You can see there's a gap, there's daylight between my hand and the guitar at the bottom there. You can see where my thumb is there and it's constantly applying pressure on onto on, in between my fingers and my thumb um, that is how i'm applying pressure that is ha helping me to get a pure sound when i play a string just like that um, yeah so that is how that is that is the strings. That is how to put your finger on the guitar. That's the frets. So far, so good. Um, we're going to start looking at what chords are next and um, how to start putting together um, your your first song. Thank you very much for watching. Hit the subscribe button. Uh, if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on my page, um, hit the like button, share it, tell your friends, um, take a screenshot of that there. That is my Instagram, my Twitter, my Facebook page. Thank you very much for watching and good luck with your beginning to play guitar.